Hey traders, welcome back to another pit breakdown video. I'm very excited to be doing this video right here. We haven't done one of these in a while. It's been maybe about a month, two months or so. I've just been working up on tying some loose ends in some other places with trading and the whole business aspect to all of this. Um, so we're here for another pit breakdown video. I'm gonna cover over the miners. I do wanna also say you might see some um, buy and sell orders I have here. I am showing all of the trades I am entering in the telegram. So if you're not in the telegram already, check the link below, get in the telegram. There's also a free course down there. There's really, I'm trying to set you up for everything that you would need. So you can just learn and just learn and start profiting from trading. Okay. So we're going to jump right through these. We're not going to touch on the Australian Canadian, but if you're in the telegram, you know, we're in a long position on this already. Let's go on to our first pair, the Australian US dollar. We were trying to go long on this. This trade did lose. Um, but for right now, what we're seeing, we can see we're below the resistance area. And if we're below the resistance, we should then head back to the next support. Okay. Support, resistance. That's how we play this game. Uh, do we have any key structure around here? I do like this. We can grab this, move this over, right? So if we do manage to pop back above the resistance, we can go to um, the next resistance, right? Support to resistance, resistance to support, always, always, always. So that's that for the Australian US dollar. We're below, so we should continue to fall, okay? Let's go to the next pair, which is going to be called EU. Okay, so EU is demonstrating the same thing as AU, um, bearish formation. We're really in a range here. Um, I was, I did go over this in the telegram as well. We were looking for a short position on this Friday candle, though we didn't get the retest that we we're looking for to get an entry. So if we do pop back up there on like another candle throughout the week, we can pop in to get another entry on this. So just stay tuned for that in the telegram. I'll go over it if we do get the setup, if we do take it. And I am doing a majority of these with limit orders. So, you know, you just place them, place your stop loss in and we go about, we figure out if we have the tight take profit, how we manage the trades, that too. I'm going over how we manage the trades in the telegram, which is, that's, that, that's key. Okay, so like I said, we're below the resistance we should go to the support. We do manage to pop back above the resistance. You know, these things happen. The market is telling us the feelings. And so feelings change all the time. Feelings are very uh, sporadic and random at sorts, right? So if we manage to come back above the resistance, we can then go to the next resistance. But for right now, as we're below, we should continue below. Let's go down to the next pair, which we're looking at is the pound US dollar. We are looking at short on this as well. We can see the bearish formation and everything. If you do check the telegram, I was long on this on Friday's candle. Um, now this position will only be activated if we do get a retest to this previous resistance at the price of $1.2248 call it, right? If we come back there, we can enter a position or stop loss on the other side of the zone. Um, these red marks show how price can react to these areas and then how we will react to that reaction, okay? Because trading is about the reaction. How are, it's not about anticipation. It's about reaction, okay? So as you can see, we're falling. Yesterday was a bearish candle. If we continue going below, we will then go to the next support down below, right? Always support the resistance, resistance to support, all right? Um that's how that goes pretty much if you want to stay updated with these i'll only be doing that in the telegram and let's just go right to the next chart which is going to be uh i actually like this one too the nu so it's the same approach we were looking for short positions on this on friday's candle this candle right here as well we didn't get a pullback to the resistance so we didn't get to enter our sell limit so we're anticipating the same thing for Monday's candle. Well, it doesn't necessarily have to be Monday, but it could be like Monday or Tuesday or, or Wednesday, uh, whenever really. I don't 
really trade based on times. Um, if we, as long as we can get a pullback to this resistance area, we can hop into a trade and our stop loss is better off a minimum of 30 or let's just place it on the other side of the zone. So about 46%, but still try to keep your, your risks low because you never want to, you never want to get knocked out of the market, like your entire balance. And you do want to leave room for error, always leave room for error. I always think about it as well to say like, when someone's going ahead and building a plan, whether that's a, a plan for school or a plan for business or a plan for, um, you know, my plan for the day, a lot of people don't take into account that plans often don't go according to plan. Like that's something you have to plan for at some point in time that plans have a tendency not to go as planned. Sure, you must adjust your plan and continue and stay persistent and keep going. But that's another aspect to trading, which we won't cover here. Um, it is covered throughout the, the, the channel. You can go through, you can figure out exactly how to trade or just get the mentorship straight from me. Or join the Telegram where I try to reemphasize these things um, I go literally my whole trading process, okay? So we're below on NU. We should continue below. Let's see if we have another resistance area for if we do pop back above. Um, what we do see here is we have an area around here. Though one thing I don't like about this, and I do mention this in other pit breakdown videos as well, is that if I draw this zone here, look how close we are to the next resistance right so there's no range in there to trade right i wouldn't be trading but i just look at this as a double ceiling so um definitely not looking to take place any trades in this area at all um let's go down to the next three or four pairs this one we were looking for a long position we didn't get that retest um we didn't get that retest as i would have liked for when i started looking for those um, entries which was on this day on Friday's day um, so let me just actually just continue so we should keep going to the next resistance um, we should keep going to the next resistance uh, that's how that one goes next one is US Swiss so we did pop back above we were looking for longs on this as well we didn't get the pullback to this resistance on Friday's candle you can see very clearly there there is no touch there's no wick touch on that candle to the floor okay so we did hit the ceiling though i'm not totally convinced on selling this yet i may depending on the four hour candlestick formations on uh monday's open right so maybe look looks like we're getting a lot of indecision here i'd probably be willing to take the risk um to take another trade at the resistance risk a mere 30 pips right and 30 pips can be anything for you 30 pips can be 30 percent of your account 30 pips can be 1.5 percent of my account it could be anything so that's why i always say you got to watch the percentage if you're even paying for something at the store a thousand dollars means nothing to the person that makes a thousand dollars in 20 minutes versus the person that makes a thousand dollars in two weeks it's all about percentage. You got to look at the things you purchase in purchase, whether with your own energy, you purchase with dollars, whether you're looking to measure something. Measuring stuff should be looked at in percentage instead of just um, dollar amount or a set number amount. And that's a big tip that can really help you a long way. OK, so uh, we're looking at this. We can get a continuation, you know, um, structure often trends continue until they don't right so let's go back to the daily let's look at this if we do get a pullback we can take the trade i'm comfortable with the risk um, because i know i'm not going to blow my account i know i'm not going to feel any way if i take a loss so i'm going to set this up to take a trade like this for this next is you japanese yen so what we can see here is i really like this one because it's, it's setting up really nice so we have this resistance area and we're getting rejections to it. We had this minor resistance as well by this red line where we can see one, two, three, four candlestick rejections to that area and two candlestick wick rejections to the highest resistance. 
So I'm really interested in taking a short trade on this on another rejection of the most extreme. And the current extreme here is this top resistance right here. So we can get a pullback there on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I don't care. On any of those candles, I can get into a position, minimum stop loss, let's put that 30. 30 just like this, right? That got to say 300. Always add another zero to get the number that you want. So 30, you got to write 300. This one right here is 114.6, okay? 114.6. So we're going to place that right about there. Um, just because we can see that there is somewhat of an issue, there is somewhat of a floor in this area by the rejection, okay? Price did turn around. It went up down didn't stop going down and went up right so i know something is there so that's what we're waiting for for this if any of these stop losses do get hit i don't care because that is a, a big part of trading um one thing i do want to give you guys this tip is and this ties into um leaving room for error understanding that oftentimes plans don't go according to plan and that's really because there is such a randomness to the market there's such a large variation to the market there's me and a thousand different other people just like me in the market there's a thousand other different people in the market millions and different type of people with different biases and everything like that in the market so you get a random approach Understand as well that the market is going to try to throw you out because it's going to try to take your money. It's like that's what it tries to do. So as long as you leave room for error where you can be wrong 50% of the time and right 50% of the time and still make a profit because you're risking one to gain three type things, um, that can really go a long way. That's all I really want to say for this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, make sure you like the video, subscribe so you can stay tuned for all these. I will be posting some more before and after videos everything just like that. Stay tuned. Catch you later.